Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Demetrius Andre defeats Walter Katendakwa on DAZN via unanimous decision. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in post-fight. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre defeats Walter Katendakwa from Namibia. Very unknown commodity here in the States. No one had really seen him fight. And I want to give my assessment. I thought Andre looked pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Everything considered, you know, the guy hasn't fought since he moved up to middleweight. He's had promotional issues, not feeling he's getting paid enough issues. So some of the major fights, like he was, he could have fought Jermail Charlo, but there was network discrepancies and pay discrepancies, which these things have kept Andre to the point where he hasn't fought much in the last five years, you know for a person as talented and heralded as him, you know, a guy, an Olympian and all that. I thought Andre did well for himself. I think he looked pretty sharp. Um, I have multiple feelings about this. I'm also going to go live. So check that on the channel and I'll be able to express some of the thoughts and details. I just want to give some just immediate reactions. I just hit the record button. The performance was not the most scintillating performance, but Andre did what he had to do he was technical defensively responsive and responsible and you know my thing is i'm a realistic boxing fan i appreciate all styles of sweet science and i was hoping that andre could maybe push and step on the gas based on who he was fighting you know since it was a guy who hadn't really fought outside of his region and not a big name things of that sort because i know the implications the middleweight division has has a lot of fighters signed with eddie hearn either the zone or jacobs is fighting Devinchenko for a title and hbo boxing is closing its doors so you know the winner of that fight if it is daniel jacobs who i think is the favorite you know he's still an eddie hearn fighter unless he decides to do something else you know you got canelo just signed to the zone and I know how the game goes and offer the performance. I was just hoping he could, you know, get a stoppage. But again, I respect the sweet science. I understand you're not going to be able to stop everybody. But just for the the casual fans sake and stuff like that, I was hoping he would be able to, to get it done, you know, just because that's what a lot of casuals would expect. And, you know, I, I just know there's a lot of ducking in boxing. And if you give any fighter a reason not to fight you, like, oh, that wasn't your best work or the performance, you, you went the distance. And, you know, some people won't appreciate that. But at the same time, I thought he was sharp. You know, he boxed well. And coming off of a year layoff, all things considered, it wasn't a bad performance. But it just wasn't a knock your socks off type of performance where, you know, he just got an annihilate his man. He knocked him down three or four times. And then the pace was kind of slowed in the second half where he was just boxing, picking his shots. So to me, I think, I, like I said, I know a lot of fighters personally. And I, I think Walter Katendakwa was just tough as fuck. You know, I think he must have had some heavy hands and stuff like that. So... You know, a guy who hasn't had the most activity. This is only Andre's second fight at the weight class. You got to consider all these things. So I think, you know, Andre pretty much came to the point in, let's say, round seven, eight, nine, ten, that, you know, let me just be smart and box and move, get some rounds out. This dude is, you know, they even called him on the telecast Frankenstein because he got knocked down three or four times. He got hit with almost a sucker punch, like the punch that could have uh, disqualified him a la Roy Jones versus Montel Griffin won and you know the dude just kept coming forward so I understand boxing and I understand you're not going to be able to, to stop everyone look at Keith Thurman versus Leonard Bundu Keith Thurman versus Jen Zabik and different people like that you know it doesn't matter who they are some guys you're just not going to stop so pretty surgical performance all things considered there were some moments where I think the inactivity where I don't think this is the sharpest that Andre's been, you know, and I think that stems from inactivity. So he just needs to to get more active because there was a couple of times where he he was his accuracy wasn't on point and like he was swinging kind of wild, trying to hurt his man to the point where he knocked himself down, I think, like twice. 
in this particular fight. So all in all, it was a solid uh, opponent and not well, not solid opponent, solid performance against an overmatched opponent. But it was the highest ranking guy. And because of what transpired, I can't blame Demetrius Andre. He's in there with the guy he didn't even study for, you know, and this all stems from Billy Joe Saunders and him failing a drug test whether you believe the nasal spray or not is billy joe saunders is the initial opponent so i you know i can't overly criticize andrade and be like oh you should have put your foot on again you know i can't hold him to that standard he was training for a southpaw slick billy joe saunders and now he's fighting this motherfucker where there's no tapes on him on youtube nobody knows him and he's considered a puncher and andrade is on a, a year layoff year plus layoff and it's his second fight in the division. So um, I was hoping that he would be able to put it together, get a stoppage. The guy was just tough, kept coming forward, like, you know, on some Margarito cyborg shit. So, you know, he did the Pacquiao Margarito route and just touched him up as much as he could, you know. But I just know how the casuals think. And they're going to be like, oh, this is the worst. And this is why he don't deserve Canelo and stuff like that. So who knows? Either way, he's a champion now. Congrats on the victory. I'll go live and give some more of my thoughts, but I, I just think ultimately you're not going to stop everyone. His opponent was game and tough, but there was there were moments in the second half where it was kind of lackluster, and then in the twelfth round, Andre got a, a second win, I would say, and he was going for the kill. So that takes something, you know. When you see guys like Terence Crawford fighting at home, I was at that fight against Jose Benavidez, and he's still going for the kill and he, he was able to get it Crawford was able to get it in the 12th round that shows you that they're really trying for the knockout but again you're not going to be able to knock out everyone so all in all I would say it's a it was a solid performance all things considered I can't judge him too harshly based on his initial opponent you know who knows does Billy Joe Saunders have the chin where if he got dropped three four times he would have kept coming back you know, like this Cotton Dakwa was. So, you know, all in all, it was a solid performance in an unfortunate situation, just based on the fact that there wasn't much to gain for Boo Boo in this particular fight. You know, so it's going to be judged. I just know boxing. I've been in this game long enough. It's going to be judged highly critically, you know, and, you know, to a degree, rightfully so, because like I said, this wasn't the most entertaining fight or, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed Andrade versus Willie Nelson or Vanas Matarosin, you know, those fights of Andrade's more than this. But again, I'm not going to, you know, nail him to the cross when, you know, his initial opponent, he's the one that failed and that's who was being trained for on top of long layoffs and being with the new situation. So I think Andrade's is still a top player at the middleweight division you know he picked his spots box well and got some rounds in and on to the next let me know what you guys think that's my thoughts andre versus cotton dakwa cotton dakwa he just he just didn't have no type of experience or boxing fundamentals like he was putting himself out of position he got hit flush with some shots i give him all the credit in the world for he has something you can't purchase or you can't train which is a chin and heart you know they said his mom died and stuff like that so i wish him well maybe he could fight like a spike o'sullivan who was in the crowd gary spike o'sullivan coming off a nasty knockout to david lemieux but this just is too much of a caliber for him you know a guy like andre too experienced he did he was squaring up he you know fell and got hit in the head you know and that was risky for andre too because he could have got disqualified like roy jones did for that but because he hit him hard when he got dropped in the first round and he hit a downed opponent, you know, that, so he's lucky because this was a title fight. You know, you work this hard to get a title shot. It would be horrible to lose via disqualification and not get your title when you would have won like he did win. So Andre's fortunate. Hopefully he goes back to the drawing board. He just needs more activity. And I think we'll see a sharper Andre. He did what he had to do against, you know, overmatched opponent. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash that like button as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Support Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.